I wanted to show uh, what could be done with beach combing fines. Um, in fact, I should start off with something I actually found on the beach, because <laughs> the other ones are from a river. Um, this is a necklace waiting to have its uh, fastening put on, but here we go. Now, this is a beautiful little white oyster shell, if I can just get it in the light for you, and these are the white fragments of um, clay pipes from the 18th century that I found on the foreshore of the River Thames when I was out mudlarking and I've cleaned them and get, you know kind of put them together in the right kind of size and colour and I've interspersed them with um, rough shaped cultured pearls so they go together really well because the pearls just um, contrast the beautiful chalkiness of the pipes so that's my River Thames, one of my many River Thames necklaces. This one is a present for my daughter, yet to be given. Found a lovely, um, she'll laugh at this, a heart-shaped mother of pearl fragment, because I'm always picking up heart-shaped stones. Oh God, Mum, not another heart-shaped stone sort of thing. Well, there you go. I couldn't resist it. And it's got gold on the back. And again, it's because she lives in London and I think... It's a beautiful reminder, as she crosses over the Thames every day, of the lives of people that lived there. And with pearls, mother of pearl and pearls. So that will be made up and given to her on her birthday. And she'll never watch this, so she'll never know. And this is another one, again, a fragment of mother of pearl from the River Thames, but this one has got a kind of grey cast to it. And I, you know, I. I attach them by putting a, actually a fragment of clay pipe and stick it on with Millie Putt. Wonderful, wonderful Millie Putt. And then cover it with silver leaf. Yes, silver. And these, because these pipe stems were grey, because they've absorbed the um, beautiful grey, blue silt from the River Thames, I've chosen, again, Kesh, Ke I think it's Keshi or Keshi, or Kishi pearls the ones without a nucleus so that they look they're called poppy pearls as well because they look like little flowers and I've just added some recycled um, pearls that I bought in a charity shop and they're called peacock pearls and they just bring it all to life and reflect that and I think the mother of pearl of course you know was left um, over from when they did made m mother of pearl buttons millions of mother of pearl buttons and then you get the whole kind of Pearly King and Queen phenomena. So, oh, and on my previous little shot, I was doing, um, explaining about, you know, this is what you make when you do those cones. I also did some nice shots where I made rings. And I, I made rings, again, with um, an impression into this stuff, of um, a magnolia seed head. So I made the magnolia seed head into a, into a, um, a silly gum mould. And then when I took it out, I wrapped it round a tube that was basically the same size as a finger and let it dry out and then coated it with epoxy resin. So very hard. And then I've put, I've burnt with a soldering iron into the centre of them, into the little bits where the seed may have been and then gilded it with gold foil, actually. I love using this because it's a very sparkly foil and it's um i get it on a big roll and it's gold white on the other side and literally all i do is just rub it on like that and it comes off beautifully and then i will well i suppose i'll put um a varnish on it but it's a pity because if i put gloss it will make the matte go not matte and if i put matte on it will t take the shine away from the gold so I'm tempted to leave it as it is, actually. But this is my, perhaps my favourite, which is just a simple, just get a piece of squidge of um, this papier-mâché air-dried clay, roll it out and flatten it, and then wrap it round. Uh, I often use the end of a big paintbrush, big thick paintbrush, like, I say, say like that, or one bigger and uh, let it dry and then as it's nearly dry I then stick the end there and then soak it in resin so 
that's really hard. It's like porcelain. And then I have burnished it with a soldering iron, burnished it, now I've scorched it with a soldering iron, and then I put gold beef on it. And I just adore it because it sews. Uh, my hands are never made for rings. They're only made for making them. <laughs> um, it's lovely. I like things that remind me of treasures found long lost time ago. So it's magical, basic and primitive. So I think that's that for now and I'll come back to you with I'm really trying to do a series of little short videos that show you actually what I have actually made. I've got another one on the go. I'll show you in a sec. Okay, bye.